Hi everyone, welcome to Make It In Minutes Monday. This is Nancy with Stamping Before Anything Else. Thank you for joining us today. I'm going to show you how to create this cute, adorable card using some of the carryover items, the Irresistible Blooms and the Everyday, uh, everyday Details. These are both exclusive items that you can find online along with the Hello Irresistible De Designer Series paper that we're going to be using today. Um, we're basically going to show you how you can turn any card into a gift card holder. It's super quick, super simple. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Of course, you can take that out and write your sentiment on the inside. Um, but we're going to get started. So the stamp set that we're using is the Hello from this one. We're going to be using some of these adhesive back sparkle gems. I've already gone ahead and die cut a couple items. Cut up our card base, which is our thick white. And then I'm going to show you how to cut up this designer series paper that I'm using today. So with our trimmer, um, we're going to cut, we're going to cut our paper first. So we're going to take it so that we have the design going left to right. And we're going to cut this to three and seven eighths right there. Okay, we're going to save this piece here because we're going to use that for the inside of the card. So three and seven eighths, then we're going to turn it the long way and we're going to cut it at five and one eighth. So now, um, when it comes to cutting our black card base, we're going to be working with sixteenths of an inch. Now, we want it just a tad bit bigger, not a quarter of an inch, but a, just a tiny bit. So we cut our designer series paper at five and one eighth right here. We're gonna move it to that next bigger line, the 16th, right before the quarter inch. So it's between the quarter inch and the eighth inch. Okay, so there's the eighth inch. We're gonna move it up just that one little tiny spot. That's going to be five and three sixteenths. Now, this right here was cut to three and seven eighths. We're going to cut our black paper just a tad bit bigger. So between the four inch mark and the three and seven eighths, there's the mark that is the 15 sixteenths. So we're going to move that right over there. If I can get my hand to get it right on. All right, perfect. So now this is just going to create a tiny little bit of border all the way around like that. Okay, perfect. So now, oh, let's go ahead and cut this while we have this trimmer out. This is going to go on the inside of the card here, and I cut it by one and a quarter, and then the length of the card, which is five and a half. So we're going to go five and a half and then one and a quarter. All right, so there we have our piece for the inside. So if you take a look on here, you're gonna see that I have the black dot showing on here. Now, if you wanna go ahead and do that, you certainly can. I'm gonna show you how I did it. Um, otherwise, you don't have to. You can just use your, your designer series paper right on the front of it. But what I used is this long die here. So we're gonna bring in our die cutting machine and you can decide where you want this to start and end but basically I started it on the tip of one of the triangles pretty cool huh now I'm going to turn it upside down and do the exact same thing as I just did And we're gonna come in with our glue. We're gonna glue this onto our black piece first. On this one, what I did is I glued everything directly on to the base. But with this card that I wanted, I wanted to give it a little pop. So we're gonna use some dimensionals on this one. So let's go ahead and get this glued onto our base of the card. We're going to stamp our sentiment. I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. 
we're going to go ahead and grab our piece that we cut, one and a quarter by five and a half. Now on here, what we're going to do is we're going to glue maybe about a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch on each end in. And then down at the bottom, we're just going to put a small strip. We want to make sure that this stays, but then has enough room for us to put our gift card in. Perfect. Close that up and then we're going to be ready to add some of these sparkly gems on here. Use our take your pick tool. All right, you know what you guys, I think I almost like the one that's up on dimensionals. And if you know me, you know I love dimensionals. So I think I like this one the best. So please let me know which one you like the best. And also, if you did like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more projects like this. Plus, if you want five free car tutorials and weekly inspiration, make sure to join our newsletter. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.